Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time may be. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ambazonians, my name is Enti Charles. The reason why I come to you this evening, the 27th day of October 2018, is concerning what is going on currently now. The so-called the AAC3, led by Christian Cardinal Tumi and some other Ambazonians going on now in the United States of America. This is the reason why I come to you, ladies and gentlemen, that the sufferings of the Anglophones for nearly 60 years and presently now, we are fighting a war. For two years now. First, I want to pray to those our fallen heroes, those who have died, those who have been killed, those who are in exile, those who are in refugee camps in Nigeria. When I bend my head down, I see my ancestors. I see John Good Funcher crying wherever he is. But I pray that they should help us. Pray to God to Almighty. Channel our problems to God Almighty so that he will protect us. He will stand before us and we will follow him. He will lead us to the right way. I believe that we are orphans. We are orphans. We don't have anybody to help us. Nobody, not even the African Union, is saying anything concerning our, our struggle. Not even the, the United Nations is saying anything concerning our struggle. Now, our own dear brothers of the Southern Cameroons, led by Christian Cardinal Tumi, with all due respect, Cardinal, I would have been thinking that with all the sorrows, I have been following up some of your interviews with the Equinox Television and many other social medias. I thought you were with us. If you, you really have us in mind, Cardinal, you would have met Paul Bia and talked to him and talked some sense to him and his followers to withdraw his troops from Southern Cameroon, to stop killing innocent people. Right now, you are going around trying to preach your federation. You, Karina Tumi, Ago Bala, and uh, one former United Nations uh, ambassador, uh, Mr. Munzu, trying to create a federation. Let me ask one question. Is this because of federation? that they are killing Southern Cameroonians now like this? So it is only because of federation that we ask, that we are asking for, that they have killed nearly 10,000 Amazonians so far. More than 100 villages put ablaze. I remember when I saw a Rasta man and seven others being beheaded by a military man of La Republic, I have not forgotten. I remember that we have watched more than a thousand and one videos showing La Republic soldier setting fires on our villages, on our houses, killing people, roasting them as women are roasting fish in some streets here in Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, I was thinking that this is the right time for somebody like Katina Tumi, that I do respect, to tell Pobia that enough is enough. Enough. After all, we have witnessed other uh, 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 peoples asking for a separate state. Each in the UK in 2015, Scotland wanted to leave. UK simply challenged them to go to a referendum to see if all Scottish 
wanted to leave Britain. No, nobody was being beaten. Nobody was being killed. Nobody was being arrested. A free and fair elections were being conducted. Even in Catalan here, they wanted to break away. Nobody was being killed. Why is it that we Africans to kill one another is as simple as ABC? Why is it that we Africans, we allowed the white man to manipulate over our intelligence so easily? Are we truly the weakest race? A few months ago, we had an informer from the presidency of La Republic du Cameroon saying that it will not be long they will try to make a create a four state federation where they will join the northern zone and the south and the west uh, 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 province they will join the southern zone and the littoral and then create some other two from the far north mixed them together so they get four states it was as if it was a propaganda it is already started materializing now you can see Paul Bia, who stole election just about a week ago, has already started making his presidential decree. For example, take a look at Fukafut. They have already joined the Southwest Football Federation and that of the Litora, joining the, the, the Northern Zone with the West. It's a clear indication that the Four State Federation is coming. And that is the plan of the French. To disorganize us it is still the plan of the french to kill us us to kill all of us so that nobody should be able to say anything in the english speaking zone anymore and our dear brothers and sisters in the military they are doing just that and they call themselves our brothers why do we allow ourselves can this be done to the arabs of course not can this be done to the Asians? Of course not. Why only black Africa? Why only we Africa? We are so cheap like this. Why is that? It is so easy to kill brothers and sisters, and we call them brothers. Why is it that we are not able to immediate our own problems? We are expecting the white man to come in. I can't. I can't. I am sick and tired. I can't understand what is wrong with the black Africans. Well, let me tell you, Dr. Monzo and Cardinal Tumi. Everybody in the Anglophone has paid the price. He is still paying the price for this revolution. He is suffering, he is sacrificing. Those who have already been killed. If we end this thing with a kind of federation or with any kind of unity, we will, those of us or some, those who will live a life will, will pay the price forever. We have sacrificed. Even our children are not going to school. Those in, those in the kindergarten, they are not going to school. They are also sacrificing. If it is time to talk, every Ambazonia has to talk for himself. Nobody should represent us. Since you didn't represent us to tell Mr. Bia not to kill your people, you are not our representative. You are not and you will not. Each and every Ambazonia is paying the price. Each and every Ambazonia has the right to talk on this matter, to decide on this matter. And the only way we can decide on this matter is by going to a referendum. Period. No other thing. Every ambassador has a right to vote, to unite with his enemies or to have his independence. This one, nobody who don't need a representative. If you want to represent us, go and tell Paul Bia to stop killing us. If not, you are not our leader. Our leaders are those who stand with us, are those who are with us. I will not take so much of your time, but I cannot conclude this video without thinking about our fallen heroes and those those of our heroes who are in jails in captivity of la republic our leaders zeku tasan wifred macho bbc Fongalan form and many and hundreds of thousands of other who are those are languishing 
in the life of Lake Jails who pray the gods of our land, the gods of our Amazonia must bring this people back to we, back to us. I will not forget to praise those our leaders who are also fighting for us. Dr. Sangwe Sako, Secretary Chris Anu, and many others. Eric Tato, we thank you, brother. You are doing, we saw what you did. May God bless you. We are also praying for our refugees who are in Nigeria and those in Buchis. God will bless all of you so that we will meet in Boya. Thank you very much.